Old Wounds finally gives us the details of Dick Grayson's departure from the Robin role, and does so in dramatic fashion. It's one of the more emotional episodes of the new Batman adventures, and probably of BTAS in general. On patrol one evening, Tim Drake's Robin fails to capture a mugger who ends up being apprehended by Nightwing. After bickering a bit, Robin asks his predecessor whatever happened to the original dynamic duo, and why there's so much tension between them. Grayson relents and tells Drake the whole story. We flash back to Dick's graduation from GSU several years earlier. Bruce fails to make it to the ceremony since he's out as Batman. Later that night, Grayson's romantic dinner with Barbara Gordon is interrupted by a call from the Dark Knight. He has a lead on a heist about to happen at Gotham Space Labs and requires Robin's help. Dick has to abruptly leave his date and joins Batman, only to see that the mastermind behind this nefarious plot is none other than the Joker. Joker has his men steal a radar disruptor as Batman and Robin crash in to stop him. When the Caped Crusader is pinned down from falling wreckage, the boy Wonder chases the only goon left behind, a man named Connor. He follows the thug back to his apartment, where his wife and young son also reside. Upon seeing the child, Robin hesitates, but Batman soon bursts through the window and starts aggressively interrogating Connor in front of his crying son. Robin has seen enough and leaves. Now into the AM hours, Grayson shows up at Barbara's apartment, furious about an argument with Bruce. Before he goes into detail, Grayson exits, leaving Barbara to go to Wayne Manor and confront Bruce about the situation. In response, Wayne leads her into the Batcave and reveals the truth. Yes, I admit it. I am Batman. It's all right, Alfred. Very good, son. He's also familiar with Gordon's alter ego. I'm not the only one with the secret, am I? Batgirl. Bruce hopes this all helps Barbara understand some of the problems between the billionaire and his ward. However, a televised message from the Joker interrupts their talk. The Clown Prince of Crime wants $40 million to stop the use of his radar disruptor, which has scrambled radar signals in the greater Gotham area, potentially causing airplanes to collide over the city. With no time to find Grayson, Barbara volunteers to join Batman in taking down this latest threat. This is one of my favorite shows from either series. I've already mentioned that I'm a big fan of Robin slash Nightwing slash Dick Grayson, so this probably isn't much of a shock. Old Wounds injects realistic drama between the good guys, and it was a conflict that took Batman's DCAU story down a much darker path. We had seen Bruce and Dick argue from time to time, but they always made up soon after. The TNBA time jump throwing us into a post-Grayson Bat family without explaining things at first had kind of a whiplash effect, but it also built intrigue into what exactly happened between Batman and Robin. As with real-life relationships, the answer is complicated, containing a lot of gray areas. It's this kind of mature storytelling that always propelled the animated series to heights well above its peers. The repercussions of this event were even felt decades later, as mentioned and shown in Batman Beyond. Rich Vogel did an excellent job with this script. With such an important incident at the forefront, I'm surprised Paul Dini didn't at least have a co-story by credit. I'm sure he and Bruce Timm were involved to a certain degree, but Vogel is the writer here, and these exchanges are fantastic. The dynamics, not just between Grayson, Bruce, and Barbara, but also between Nightwing and the young Robin, are top-notch. You sound just like Batman. I'm nothing like him. I'd love to know what happened between you two. Things change. Maybe you should ask him. I did. And you'll never guess what he said. Things change. There's a big brother-little brother relationship going on there that I wish they had explored more. This is really the only episode where we see the Bird Boys bonding. What we do get to see more of is Grayson and Barbara's romance. It's hinted at a few times in BTAS episodes, and more explicitly in the Sub-Zero movie, but in the flashback, we see just how serious they were becoming. Whatever my future holds, I hope it includes you. I was always rooting for Barbara and Dick to make it work, but that might have been too appropriate of a future for them. Considering where Barbara's romantic life goes from here, appropriate is definitely not a word to describe it anyway. In that same scene, Dick also mentions he's planning on breaking away from the Wayne family fortune. He has a trust fund through Haley's Circus that he can inherit, which was an insurance settlement from when his parents died. So the future was already looking like it might not include Robin with Batman anymore. In the Batman Adventures comics, show writer Hilary J. Bader wrote a limited series called The Lost Years that debuted at the end of November 1997 and finished in March of the following year. It expands upon some of these flashback scenes along with telling the story of how Dick became Nightwing. 
Interestingly, Old Wounds didn't air until October of 1998, so you could have read this whole story before the new Batman Adventures put it on TV. However, the episode is apparently not an adaptation of the comic. From what I found online, the books adapted the Old Wound script as the installment was still in production. An aspect that sets the comic's retelling of these events apart from the show is the use of the BTAS character models. Don't get me wrong, it was cool seeing Grayson in the old Robin suit in the episode too. It's touched up just a bit and I actually really like how it looks. Having the cape draped over one shoulder was a nice choice. But considering the time period, it would have been great to see all the old costume designs. They changed Batman's outfit in a few flashback scenes from the animated series, so why couldn't they do it here? Seeing the dark blue cape and cowl with the yellow oval around the bat symbol would have been a treat in this model style. Same goes for Batgirl. Her old costume isn't the best, but having her wear it here would make sense. Then again, I don't know if she brought her suit to Wayne Manor when Bruce showed her the cave, so maybe this is the first appearance of the new and improved costume he had pre-made for her. I took the liberty to create something in your size. Let's just not think about that. To make sense of Joker's redesign, we should have gotten Batman punching him so hard it inverted his eyes, knocked the red from his lips, and green from his hair. At least that would have been some explanation. <laughs> All kidding aside, there are some really great shots in this episode, and it looks quite good overall. From large shadows of the characters fighting on a skyscraper's exterior, to a funhouse Joker reflection, and even Robin... flying? Okay, he has the grappling hook in his hand, but still, look at that. Regardless, director Kurt Gaeta, the storyboard artists, and animators deserve heavy praise. Grayson soon arrives in the Batcave to discover Barbara and Bruce have teamed up to go after the Joker. He reaches the fray just in time to save Batgirl from a big fall and joins the fight. Gordon eventually tricks Joker into destroying the radar disruptor, and the criminal is KO'd. Moments later, Robin is enraged that Bruce brought Barbara into danger and never told him he knew she was Batgirl. It wasn't my place to tell you. This leads to a blowout between Wayne and Grayson. I thought we had the same goals. Things change. I changed. The game's over, Batman. I quit. Robin, wait. <laughs> Dick left his mask and cape behind, and Robin was no more. Nightwing wraps up his story to the new boy wonder by saying Bruce will never change and that he still holds resentment against him. They walk back to the mugging scene from earlier and discover a wallet with a familiar ID inside. The vigilantes then check out a Wayne Enterprises security office where Connor, Joker's henchman from Dick's story, is surprised to see them. After they return his wallet, Connor explains that he's held this job for a while now. Ever since that night with Batman and Robin, he turned his life around, even given this position by Bruce Wayne himself. Wayne never fails to stop by and ask how Connor's son is either. Seeing that Bruce may have more compassion than he gave him credit for, Nightwing seems satisfied with his outcome. The bat signal soon lights up the sky, and the original Robin finally seems ready to embrace his family again. You coming? I guess it's about time. They swing off together as Nightwing's theme blares, finishing off the installment. Everything about that rooftop confrontation with Robin, Batgirl, and Batman is handled perfectly. There's so much going on, and it couldn't have been easy to juggle. Dick finds out Barbara is Batgirl as she finds out he's Robin. How could you keep something like this from me? You weren't exactly honest with me, either. But you told him. He knew. Dick then blames Bruce for putting Barbara in danger, and it creates the perfect storm for an iconic scene. I volunteered. You think you did? You don't know him like I do. He manipulates, pulls strings, anything to get what he wants. It's brilliant stuff. A beautifully sad and heartbreaking scene for our heroes. Adding to the drama is Shirley Walker subtly weaving in the Nightwing theme. That music put the final touches on one of my personal favorite sequences in the show's entire run. I encourage you, Batman fans, if you've never seen Old Wounds, it's a must-watch story in the history of these characters. Find it and take it in. It reminds us that some wounds may never heal, but there's always hope that we can learn from them.